In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do text tracking. So in your footage, if you have a moving subject, the text can follow them as they're moving along in your video edits in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are. We have a little sequence here with uh, Spider-Man and Miles Morales. <laughs> And as you can see, I've got my text overlaid over this video footage, okay? So this was me at Comic-Con, I'm Miles Morales, by the way. <laughs> anyway, so what we need to do now is with the text selected, we're gonna go to the end of the clip and select the text tool. And I'm just going to create a couple of space bars and then type in X, okay? So X marks the spot. So we're gonna use the X to track um, myself or my movements here okay so with the text selected you go to effects control and go down to the text properties here and we go all the way down to transform okay so what I'm going to do first actually is just center align the text okay brilliant okay and also just grab the selection tool and just move the text where I want it to be right Brilliant. Now what we've got to do is create some keyframes, okay? I'm gonna create a keyframe right here at this point here. So on the transform where it says position, we're gonna hit the stopwatch icon, create an animation toggle. So now it's created a keyframe. We are going to scrub all the way to the beginning of the scene. It starts here and we're gonna also create another keyframe. We will firstly position it where we want it to be. Okay, so X over the face, I'm tracking the face. And then what happens is it's now created a keyframe there, okay? So let's go to scrub to the about the middle roundabout here, okay? And then just again, position it so it's in the center on my face, the X on my face, okay? So what you're gonna keep doing is just scrubbing across the scene and just moving the text so that the X stays on my face, okay? So you, you want your subject to be tracked, basically. So it's creating a bunch of keyframes. So if you go about halfway between keyframes, that should work. Obviously, depending on the scene that you're working with. Okay, so just create another movement here. Scrub along. Another movement slightly here. And I'll just be a little bit extra and just do another one here. Okay. So now let's just play back. And you can see it's tracking. So what we need to do now is just delete that X. So select the text tool and just delete. And then play it back just to check what the tracking is like. And there we go. Check out this video on how to add the glitch text effect to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro, or check out this video you might enjoy as well. Until next time, this has been Aston Regis, helping you tell your story through video. Peace.